It looks like a video game, but these workers aren't doing this for fun. Behind the goggles, they're in a high-pressure situation, extinguishing fires before their virtual reality world goes up in flames. You can put them in that setting and have them feel like, oh my God, if that was real, that would have hurt me. And that emotional connection causes behavioural change. The technology is a welcome alternative to flicking through a booklet in a classroom. It didn't really put them in a situation where they had to make a decision or um, really immerse them into a work environment. It reduces the risk of injury and has an 80% knowledge retention rate. When someone sticks on a virtual reality headset, guess what they can't see? Their mobile phone, passes by, distractions. Today the focus was on fire safety but the program teaches a number of workplace health and safety courses. Everything from confined spaces, working at height, hazard ID, um, office um, hazard identification. Rockhampton Regional Council staff have been using VR for six months now. They say it's boosted engagement. Hopefully it'll help those people if they are in any type of emergency situation to make those quick decisions. Taylor Larson, 7 News.